team. Today I'm going to be drawing dumpster love, which that doesn't sound great. It's better than it sounds. I had an alternate title for it just called We Love Trash. I feel like that's a generalization though. <laughs> and I don't know if I want Team Manticore to just be trash. Well, no, like lots of people love the same kind of trash, like whether it's like daytime TV or reality shows or wrestling. That's true. That's like true. Like romance novels. Like a lot of people, like their friendships and such are based on a love of the same stuff that's considered trash, but it's at Bonson. So here I am doing a sketch that winds up actually being my ink layer because I just like the look of it. I like the, the feel of it, the energy of it. Your sketches are very nice, very organic. And they don't... Organic? Organic. Organic. And they don't... There's not a... a they're not overly heavy in, in the sketch department. There's not... Like, there's a confidence in the lines. See, I was going to say the opposite, because I've got so many tiny little... Silly little lines. But they build up. They become a thing. Yeah, I could see that. So, sort of both. <laughs> Somewhere between It's, it's a false confidence, is what you're saying. <laughs> All the so little lines turn life. into the line that you like. That's true. And, and you can see that I kind of carve. Once I decide this is, in fact, the layer I'm going to use as my drawing rather than a sketch to draw over, which I would have done in a different color generally anyway, so on some level I must have known. Uh, you see me kind of carve rather than draw. I use the eraser. It's just like as though it's stone and I need to carve it away. But it works for the style that I wound up going for. After the fact. You looked at that block of sketchy marble and said, You will be a dumpster. <laughs> There's a dumpster inside you. And it said, Oh, thanks, I guess. Is that a compliment? Full of garbage you are. Yeah. Oh, here's where I realized that it has ridges. And I have to figure out how to do the ridges. Ah. So I do have, I did have, this is all in the past, a reference. You know, you, you gotta use references. I don't know off the top of my head what a dumpster looks like. I don't really, I don't live in a city. And even when I did, I didn't really look at the dumpsters. I didn't commit them to memory. So I have a stock image that I'm using for the dumpster. This still doesn't really look exactly like the reference image, but that's how that goes. I figured if I go from one side and the other at the same time, I can meet in the middle. But I realize if I screwed that up, you get like a really skinny one or a really thick one. So I, yeah, I'm trying to measure there. And the reason why this had to be pre-recorded is A, it took me about 40 minutes and this doesn't need to be that long. And B, I cannot talk and draw at the same time. <laughs> I just can't. So this, you're seeing it. As I did it, just fast. I don't. I don't think you're alone in the. Uh, you know, just playing the sped up version, though. So. Yeah. I haven't seen our channel that does like live, unless it's a stream thing. So. And they're usually like talking smack about other people when they're doing it. Like it's a drama thing. Let me tell you why I don't like Susan. And I'm just like, I just want to see how you drew the orc. You know? <laughs> Please just show me your secrets. Uh, my my secret is that I flail around a lot. I also use the smudge tool, which I know is like a, a thing people tell you not to do, but they don't specify how not to do it. I love the smudge tool. I also love the smudge tool. It, I understand if you're using it too much, it's not going to look as good as you might want it to look. Yeah. But like, if I already have a color down, you'll see it when I start to color. If I already have a color down, I don't want to erase the color entirely and then redraw it and keep doing it back and forth over and over and over. I can just smoosh it <laughs> to where I want it to be with the smudge tool. This, drawing a heart, is so much easier if you do it like, like when you're cutting it out of a piece of paper, you just draw the one side and then you flip it, but I didn't do that. I didn't do it the easy way. I decided to try to make it symmetrical by hand as much as I could. Why do I do this to myself? Well, the, the cut and paste one, like, it can end up looking a little mechanical. Yeah. I thought about putting the Team Manticore logo there, but 
you know, like it's the Team Manticore dumpster, like we have a restaurant or something. Oh look, now it's straighter. Everything I draw tends to lean a little bit, so. Can I get that right? But I figured it out. Well, yeah, it's it's handwriting. Yeah. And there's me drawing the raccoon tail. Ooh, fluffy. So fluff. And I put the, the raccoon tail on a separate layer, and then the possum tail also goes on a separate layer, because I thought I was going to have to change the angle so much and move it around a lot, but I ultimately don't so much. It still made it easier, though, for coloring, because I could just say, this is just behind this layer, and it, above the other one. So it just sandwiches between the two and makes it really nice and easy. I like the way you did the stripes. Well, thank you. I tried to make them fluffy and fuzzy. Yeah. I like drawing fuzzy things. And a lot of things I don't know what's going on unless it's after the coloring. So you'll see that too, that I, I start doing the color and then I go, oh wait, the line work is bad. <laughs> and then I go back and forth and sculpt it a little bit more. It's fine. It looks good. Thank Possum you. tail looks nice. Possum tail started to look a little wormy at one point. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. But I, I think I managed to dial it back again. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Oh, and I spent so much time. It's luckily sped up, but I spent a lot of time on these little things that go on the side of the dumpster. I don't even know what they're for. Are they just a link to other dumpsters? No, no, they're um, the dump truck. Typically has like um, two rods that go into those holes oh. and it just flips the dumpster. It's for the lifting. It's for the lifting. Oh, that makes sense. So glad I included them. Yeah. It can be lifted. But I, I spent so much time on them. They seemed very important to me. <laughs> if you... For the loading company, they're very important. Yeah. For the usefulness of the dumpster, they're very important. Hmm? I appreciate possums and their eating of ticks, but, like, they need to... Like, I'm okay with them being elsewhere. Like, well, not in the house. Not in the house. We'll have to do a story time about that. Oh, absolutely. A little animatic. Yeah. And your cousin can never watch it. I, I feel bad even doing this because I know how she feels about possums. Because we've had this whole thing about a purple raccoon and a green opossum. That too, it's an opossum, not a possum. There is a difference. What is the difference? The difference is that one is cute and one is not. And one is around here where we live, upstate New York area, and one is like, I think Australia? So they're, they're like not really the same animal. But did we get the cute one? We did. Okay. That's true. Like the ugly one. I might Oof. be misremembering that. But but yeah. Yeah, so here I'm doing the color. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can see me sculpting, me realizing that I don't like where the line is because of where the color winds up. I like the little flare up that both the tails do. They're like, they're like playing with each other. Yeah, they're like holding hands. Yeah. Theirs okay. is a love that was forbidden. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up possums versus opossums now. But all I know is this is an opossum. Like and subscribe for more possum facts. Because sometimes we get too close and like forget where we are. And going, going, going. Seeing where I need to move the line. And then moving the line in the color. And then trying to match up the actual line work to match with the color. There's a process. It's a back and forth. It's like a dance. And it keeps going. Trying desperately to reshape. I'm still surprised that I was able to get a general recognizable heart shape with the two tails as quickly as I... Like, I had the idea in my brain for a while, but I hadn't really sketched it. It had just been brain sketched. Ah, uh, the fill tool. When you have a big swath of land, you must cover. But, you know, be careful of your edges when you use a fish fill tool, because... I'm horribly inefficient, because I find, like, the art of coloring cathartic. So I will... You so color in the lines. I color in the lines. I know. Because, like, everyone else is just like, eh, hey, you just grab it and, like, fill it. And I'm just like, I, like, sketchy, 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 sketchy with yeah, just no. a wide brush. I do a thousand layers. It takes me three times as long as it should, but it's just, it's so relaxing to color. I do a thousand layers and I try to do like layer under layer. So I'll do the, the one color and then everything else is going to be behind this color. 
and it just makes it so much easier for me. I don't have to think. Going around the little edges so I have a space to try to fill. Yeah, well, because you sometimes get that little line where it didn't quite do it. But I do, I do enjoy some of the textures that I made here. And I wound up doing this flat shading. I don't do any shading or highlights on the tails themselves, and I'm calling this a design decision. Like, well, makes it pop, makes them pop out. Right. Right. So I'm going with that, and I, I did do a lot of this flat shading, and I, I might go back in and do a little bit more highlights for shading, but depending on what this winds up being, if we wind up using it for like a sticker or a T-shirt, it doesn't really need anything else because you want it to be as simple as possible and still read. But I, I did play with the shading a little bit. Yeah, it's more yes, we'll it's more iconography than trying to right. realistically depict the thing. Right. Here I'm making so. sure you know there's ridges. Ridgey, ridgey, ridgey. And there are just a lot of things that I realized after the fact and then had to go back in. But most of them, I think, are... They're, they're useful things to realize. Like, the fact that if the top is ridged like that, maybe the bottom lid the bottom of the lid that's up would also be. And so I, I do kind of play around with that a little bit. Nice. And yeah, everything gets a little bit just something. I make sure that where it didn't go gets colored in. And yeah, I, I do like that I left the tails the way they are. I came so late to the game with digital, but I learned watercolor and <laughs> I learned acrylic and oil paints and I used Micron Pen on all my comics. I also used a clipping mask, but I didn't use it until, like, just before this part. I'm bad at Photoshop. What is a clipping mask? <laughs> so clipping mask, if you look over to the right, and you see my layers, yeah. there's the layer that is the dumpster itself, the color. And then above it, I say, I made a new layer, and I said, add clipping mask. And it made it so I can only put color down where there's color right right below it. So now I can just scribble all over that thing and it's not going to go outside the lines. Oh, okay. That, I should learn to use that. That would be very It's helpful. amazing. I learned it from Drawfee. You get to see me use the smudge tool over here. Because again, I want to just put it where it wants to be. <laughs> just decide, this is fine. Move it over a little bit rather than undoing and redoing and undoing and redoing. I think the way I use the smudge tool most commonly is on the um, the shine layer. Like yeah. you'll have straight color and then you have shade and then you have shine. On the shine layer, I find it looks a lot better if I just take the smudge tool and meep, just smudge smear it. it. Yeah, smear it a little bit so around the edges and have it like bank around curves properly and stuff like that. I could have gone back in and tried to do some line work with the the lid that's facing back there, but. This works better, I think. It pushes it back a little bit more and allows the two tails to really take the foreground. So I, I'm pleased with myself that I managed to actually go, here's how they fit in this dumpster. Also, in retrospect, that possum especially is enormous. It's the dumpster of love. Ta-da! If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.